So I was having a hard time. Uh, basically, when I'd sit in traffic, my idle would drop down. And uh, it'd come back up. But when it dropped down, it'd go to like 500. I almost thought that my car would stall out. Well, being that I have a volt gauge, uh, I noticed that when, I, uh, when I'd be sitting at a light, it dropped down to like 11 volts. And then it'd go back up to like 14. And that was about the time I was like ready to get back uh, with a green light. Well, I found out that it's electronic load detector is what it's called. And basically what it does is, uh, it was something Honda created for like emissions, just to save a little more fuel by turning off the alternator when the battery's charged. And then when the, once it needed to get charged again, it'd kick on the alternator. Well, I'm hoping all the wiring's the same for you guys because my friend CRX has the same thing and the wiring color is the same. So just to let you know, this is where the electronic load detector is. This is the plug, and the reason I have electrical tape on it is because I stuck an 820 ohm resistor, as you can see right there, into the green and red wire and the black wire. Do not put it in the black yellow wire. That is from the ignition switch, and you will uh, blow a fuse. <laughs> so to bypass the electronic load detector, that's all you need, just an 820 ohm resistor, put it on the red green wire and the black wire. That will trick the ECU as in always seeing a five volt pin. So it will keep the alternator running constant. It will never shut back off, come back on. It will always be on. Like every normal vehicle I've owned, the alternator should always be on. <laughs> and this has solved my idle issues. So hopefully it solves your guys's. And uh, just leave this connector unplugged and that's it. Just keep in the fuse box. Fuse box is gonna make sure it's all weather protected anyways. So should be all right. I just didn't want the resistor grounding on anything. That's what the electrical tape's for. So yeah, thank you guys. This is how you bypass the electronic load detector.